Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good day to all of you. So today we will start with a new chapter which is chapter number 3. The title for this chapter is the cascade performance. So in this talk, in this chapter we will discuss about the cascade performance, cascade efficiency and also cascade correlation for turbine also for the compressor. Okay, in terms of contents uh, for this chapter, so we only have two subtopic. First is about the cascade efficiency and also performance. Second topic is about cascade correlation. So in terms of equation that we have for turbine also the compressor cascade. Okay, so under the first topic we have introduction. Uh, we discuss about the compressor cascade efficiency the compressor cascade performance, the compressor cascade profile losses and also the turbine cascade efficiency and also performance. For the second topic, we will discuss about the compressor cascade correlation and also turbine cascade correlations. Okay, let's start with uh, our first uh, topic. It's about the cascade efficiency and also performance. So in terms of introduction, in blade design, we have to know uh, the suitable blade profile and also the suitable parameters for the cascade blade. So these two, uh, these two factors are important because we need to have maximum efficiency and also minimum losses for the cascade blade. So in, in order to obtain these two criteria, so we need to conduct cascade blade investigation in order to determine the suitable blade profile, the suitable blade parameters and also the suitable blade arrangement in order to obtain maximum efficiency and also minimum losses. So in this chapter, we will learn about uh, according the, re the result and also the equation that obtained from, um, from, the, uh, from the cascade blade investigation that conduct uh, by the different researchers. So for the compressor, we will learn about the cascade blade investigation that conduct by Howell. However, for turbine, we will learn about the cascade blade investigation uh, that conduct by Enli and also Matheson. Compressor cascade efficiency. Okay, now let me discuss about the compressor cascade efficiency. Okay, the efficiency of a compressor cascade represented by mu d symbol. So in this slide, I will show you numbers of equation that can be used to determine the efficiency of a compressor cascade. So before that, let us look at the definition, the general definition for the efficiency of a com of a compressor cascade. So the definition is the ratio of the actual static pressure rise in the cascade cascade to the maximum possible theoretical pressure rise. So maximum possible theoretical pressure rise only can be obtained if the value of delta P naught which is referred to the total pressure loss equal to zero. So the equation uh, based on the general definition of the efficiency of a cas compressor cascade is referred to equation number one where mu D equal to P2 minus P1 for the actual static pressure rise divided by P2 minus P1 maximum. Uh, refer to the maximum possible theoretical pressure rise. If the equation based on flow velocity, we have equation number two, where mu d equal to one minus delta p naught divided by half rho density multiplied by c one square minus c two square. C one is the inlet flow velocity. C two is the outlet flow velocity. If the equation of mu d based on flow angles so we have mu d equal to 1 minus, minus delta p naught divided by rho cx square tangent alpha m multiplied by bracket tangent alpha 1 minus tangent alpha 2 where alpha m refer to the um, mean flow angle mean flow angle alpha, alpha m uh, refer to the mean flow angle where 
Alpha 1 refer to inlet flow angle Alpha 2 refer to outlet flow angle Which is uh, the equation represent by equation number 3 if we if we have the what I call the value of specific coefficients such as zeta, uh, which is stand for the total pressure loss coefficient, or cf the tangential force coefficient, so we can use equation number four to determine the efficiency of the compressor cascade, where mu d equal to one minus zeta divided by cf tangent alpha m. Okay. Okay, equation number 5 shows the equation for the efficiency of a compressor cascade based on leaf and also drag coefficient. So if we have the leaf coefficient value and so drag coefficient value, we can determine the efficiency of the compressor cascade by using equation number 5 where mu d equal to 1 minus c d divided by c l cos alpha m sine alpha m which is also equal to 1 minus 2 cd cos second 2 alpha m divided by cl okay if we base on the or if we refer to the equation number 5 if we derive the equation and make it equal into in, uh, to 0 so we will get the optimum value of alpha m where alpha m will be alpha m optimum will be at 45 degree so if we substitute uh, the value of alpha m equal to 45 degree we will get maximum efficiency for the compressor cascade and the equation 5 further we can simplify to equation number 6 after we substitute the value of alpha m optimum equal to 45 degree where mu d maximum equal to 1 minus 2 cd divided by cl so um, the application of this equation all this equation actually are based on the data that we have for example if we have the pressurized data we can we can use the equation number one if we have the velocity uh, flow velocity data so we can use uh, equation number two and so on so depend on the parameter that we have in term of value okay example 3.1 so we try to solve the example for uh, the first example for chapter number three example 3.1 where the question asks you to prove the specific equation so prove the that the compressor cascade efficiency is equal to mu d equal to 1 minus delta p naught divided by rho cx square tangent alpha m multiplied by bracket tangent alpha 1 minus tangent alpha 2 okay first we need to consider general equation of efficiency for a compressor cascade where the basic formula for compressor cascade efficiency is mu d equal to p2 minus p1 divided by p2 minus p1 maximum refer as equation number one so for this question we, tr we need to to find and uh, we call the equation for p2 minus p1 and also p2 minus p1 maximum okay by implement the Bernoulli equation so we will get equation number two so this equation we already learned in previous chapter where delta p naught divided by rho equal to p1 minus p2 divided by rho plus half multiplied by bracket c1 square minus c2 square so in this equation so we will have the term for pressure rise pressure rise which is p1 minus p2 so by manipulating the equation number two so we will get the equation for p2 minus p1 terms and also p2 minus p1 maximum for the equation number one Okay, for maximum pressure rise, the total pressure loss delta P naught will be equal to zero in equation number two. This is due to the irreversibility factors is neglected uh, for the maximum pressure rise condition. So rearrange the equation number two and substitute with delta P naught equal to zero. So we will get the equation for 
P2 minus P1 maximum which is equal to half rho multiplied by C1 square minus C2 square which is referred as equation number 3 next for actual pressure rise the total pressure loss will be not equal to zero so delta P naught is not equal to zero in equation number two this is because um, this condition for the actual pressure rise we need to consider the actual process where the process will involve irreversibility factor so this is due to the present of irreversibility factor so rearrange the equation number two and let the delta P not terms in the equation because the value is not equal to zero so we'll get equation number four where P2 minus P1 equal to half rho multiplied by C1 square minus C2 square minus delta P0 the total pressure loss okay substitute equation number 3 and also equation number 4 into equation number 1 so we'll get mu D equal to 1 minus delta P0 divided by half multiplied by rho multiplied by bracket C1 square minus C2 square which is referred to equation number 5 okay so for this term now for this, uh, for this formula for equation number 5 the mu d is a function of delta p naught density and also the inlet and outlet velocity value flow velocity value Okay, so in order to obtain uh, the what I call the trigono trigonometry terms for the compressor compressor cascade efficiency equation, so we need to use trigono trigonometry approach to obtain equation number six, where c one square minus c two square in equation number five actually equal to c x square multiplied by bracket tangent one tangent alpha one minus tangent alpha two multiply by bracket tangent alpha 1 plus tangent alpha 2 as shown by equation number 6 so uh, next if we refer to uh, for velocity diagram we know that tangent alpha m equal to half multiplied by tangent alpha 1 plus tangent alpha 2 which is referred as equation number 7 so substitute equation number 6 and also 7 into equation number 5 so we can prove that as mentioned in the question mu d equal to 1 minus delta p naught divided by rho c x square tangent alpha m multiplied by ten bracket tangent alpha 1 minus tangent alpha 2 investigation in terms of efficiency of compressor cascade conduct by Howell in 1945 so previously I already mentioned that we can use uh, numbers of uh, equation to determine the compressor cascade efficiency so one of the equation is the equation of uh, efficiency of the comp compressor cascade that involves with uh, coefficient terms such as zeta and also tangential force coefficient as shown in the slide and when we derive the equation and make it equal to zero so we obtain that when alpha m at 45 degree the equation will give the maximum efficiency of compressor cascade and further we simplify the equation to the maximum efficiency for the compressor cascade equation where mu d maximum equal to 1 minus 2 cd over cl okay so in Howell investigation the Howell will uh, we call will conduct experiment in term, in term of um, to study about the maximum efficiency that obtained for various value of uh, mean angle and also cd over CL ratio. So in 1945, Howell conduct an experiment about the efficiency of the compressor cascade and he obtained uh, the result in terms of efficiency variation with average flow angle. Where for his experiment, this experiment considering wall boundary losses and also secondary losses, which means 
the experiment already consider the actual process because Howell consider numbers of losses in his in investigation so the result obtained he, uh, from the result obtained he plot the graph in terms of efficiency of the cascade for the compressor versus a uh, mean flow angle alpha m and also total drag coefficient um, over leaf coefficient ratio value versus mean flow angle alpha m okay there are two case there are, there, there were two cases that conduct by Howell first cases so I explain the first cases first case number one uh, he maintained the value of CD over CL as shown by dash red color line and he obtained uh, the curve of uh, compressor cascade efficiency as shown in the graph okay so for uh, from the graph we can obtain we can prove that the curve will have maximum uh, efficiency of the compressor cascade at 45 degrees 45 degree of mean flow angle and the value of efficiency at that point is around 90.3 percent okay in terms of cd over cl value the value will be 0, 0 uh, approximately 0 0.048 okay for the second case case number two how will conduct the experiment for uh, compressor cascade efficiency for um, variation of CD over CL value that represent by pink color line or pink color curve as shown in the figures and the above curve is the curve um, the above curve pink color curve is the data or the graph for uh, efficiency of the ca ca compressor cascade for very vary, uh, varying CD over CL value and if you look uh, in terms of the maximum value of efficiency for the cascade compressor cascade mu D so we'll get almost similar value as the first case where the value is approximately 90.1 percent and in terms of main flow angle that we obtain at the second case for the maximum condition we'll get approximately in terms of main flow angle around 44 degree and the value of CD over CL for the condition is around 0.047 okay so how we found that for the for the, for both curve for both cases flat curve for white change in alpha m uh, will obtain for both curve of efficiency of compressor cascade and in this region the value of uh, of efficiency is not sensitive to mean flow angle okay so in the range of around alpha alpha mean flow angle value between 42 degree to 49 degree so in this range the according value of efficiency of the complex cascade is around 90 degree sorry 90 percent so in this region um, the value of efficiency is not sensitive to the mean flow angle thus for specific variation of leaf drag ratio how will conclude that or how will suggest that the maximum of efficiency for the compressor cascade is less than 45 degree okay so how will suggest that uh, we need to choose uh, mean flow angle to obtain the maximum uh, efficiency of the compressor cascade the value of, of alpha m 
uh, must be below than 45 degree okay so which mean we need to uh, make little sacrifice in term of efficiency but we will but we will get other benefit such as power to weight ratio okay so the figures just shows a code arrangement of blade uh, for certain thickness of uh, roto hub by considering the lower value of alpha m less than 45 degree we can reduce the size of roto used in the compressor okay so we will get at what I call very um, slightly thin, uh, slightly thinner thickness of the uh, roto of the compressor okay so next slide I will explain about the um, what the difference between power to weight ratio for uh, the for the alpha m equal to 45 and also alpha m uh, lower than 45 degree okay now I would like to uh, explain uh, try to differentiate between the in term of power to weight ratio between uh, different cases so for the first case for, for the first case where we determine the optimum value of uh, mean flow angle by using the equation where alpha m optimum is at 45 degree and this value will produce maximum efficiency of the compressor cascade where the roto uh, the, the first photo the first figure shows the arrangement of the identical blade on the on the roto hub and the roto we, has, we state as roto A and the second figure shows the uh, three dimensional view of the roto A with thickness of TA okay the second case that as suggested by Howell 1945 so Howell suggests that the value of alpha M should be lower than 45 degree because we need to make little sacrifice little sacrifice in terms of um, compressor cascade efficiency so that we will get um, we can reduce the weight of the compressor that we use okay so let's say first figure shows the roto arrangement of the uh, identical blade on the, on the roto hub after we adjust the value of alpha m below 45 degree and we mention we state that the name for the this roto s roto b and second figures shows the 3d view of the roto b with thickness of tb okay in order to compare in term of hub thickness so for sure the thickness of the roto a will be greater than the thickness of roto b in term of weight weight of roto a also greater than weight of roto b in term of efficiency just now we already discussed uh, from the result they obtained by Howell so the efficiency for roto a or for compressor a will be more or less equal to the efficiency for the compressor that use roto b okay so in term of power because the efficiency is uh, almost equal similar so the power that uh, if the compressor uh, will use the power that needed to supply to the compressor will be uh, similar but if we um, refer to the statement that I mentioned before about the hub thinness, roto weight, efficiency and power so we uh, obtain the value for power over weight ratio so we'll get the power over weight ratio for roto A will be less than power over weight uh, ratio of roto B okay so which mean for the same power out input or same power output so for the case compressor this for the same power input so roto the compressor that use roto b will have 
um, smaller in size and also lower in term of weight compared to the compressor that use roto a so um, this figure shows the arrangement if we arrange a uh, four identity uh, for um, roto that use in in the compressor compare with and uh, the compressor that use roto b so in term of size so we get smaller size of compressor that use roto b compared to the compressor that use roto a okay so that's the importance of power to weight ratio and the comparison uh, why Howell suggests us to use alpha m lower than 45 degree so the uh, we will get uh, almost similar in terms of efficiency value but we can reduce uh, what I call the size of the compressor significantly so we will get similar power of compressor with uh, smaller compressor size if we use um, the angle of alpha m slightly lower than or lower than 45 degree although we'll get the efficiency of the cascade compressor cascade slightly lower than uh, what I call the uh, the uh, if you compare to the value of efficiency that obtained if you use alpha m at 45 degree example 3.2 prove that the maximum compressor cascade efficiency is equal to mu d maximum equal to 1 mi minus 2 cd over cl okay for cascade efficiency equation based on leaf and drag coefficient so we'll have equation number one where mu d equal to 1 minus 2 cd cos second to alpha m divided by cl so by referring to the uh, result or graph that obtained by Howell 1945 assuming a constant leaf drag ratio to give the optimum flow angle for maximum efficiency so derivation of equation number one will give equation number will give this equation where this equation shows the derivation of equation number one where the value will be equal to zero because you want to determine the maximum value of efficiency so we'll get derivation of efficiency of the cascade blade equal to the derivation of 1 minus 2 cd cos second to alpha m divided by cl equal to 0 okay further from the sec the next equation so we get the term for the derivation of a value 1 will be 0 so the remaining terms for the equation will be 2cd over cl the derivation of cosecant to alpha m equal to 0 that represent by equation number 2 so in order to simplify equation number 2 so we need to uh, substitute the value of the deriv derivation for cosecant to alpha m where we can use derivation identity for trigonometry where derivation of cosecant to alpha m equal to minus 2 cosecant to alpha m cotangent to alpha m that represent by equation number 3 and cot to alpha m can be replaced or substituted by using identity for trigonometry as shown by equation number 4 where cotangent to alpha m equal to 1 divided by tangent to alpha m substitute equation 3 and 4 into equation number 2 so we will get equation number 5 where derivation of efficiency uh, cascade compressor cascade efficiency equal to 4 cd over cl times uh, cos 2 alpha m divided by sin 2 alpha m square equal to 0 so, so, so solve equation number 5 the, so, the solution for optimum mean angle is obtained where alpha m optimum will be equal to 45 degree so if we re, uh, look back at the result they obtained by whole world we can see that the curve the upper curve actually represent the curve they obtained from equation number one 
and the point the maximum point at the top of the curve represent the derivation of of the equation which is equal to zero and the mean angle that we obtain from the curve also at 45 degree okay so mean flow angle at 45 degree that obtain in the figure also uh, represent the optimum value of mean flow angle in order to obtain the highest or the maximum value of efficiency for the cascade com compressor cascade for the compressor cascade okay next substitute alpha m optimum value into equation number one then we can we will obtain we prove that mu d maximum equal to one minus two cd over cl okay, example 3.3 Okay, table shows the flow angles for two different cases of compressor cascade investigation with variation of leaf and drag coefficient ratio. By using the figure provided below, choose the case with better blade arrangement and determine leaf and drag coefficient ratio for the case. So what you have to do, you need to make comparison between case A and also case, case B. Use the graph that obtained by Howell 1945 you need to determine which case is better and also you need, uh, for the case after you decide the case you need to determine leaf and drag coefficient ratio for the best case okay solution 3.3 .3. okay for case a data given are alpha 1 equal to 35 degree alpha 2 equal to 40 degree so next determine mean flow angle by using uh, tangent alpha m formula equal to half multiplied by bracket tangent alpha 1 plus tangent alpha 2 substitute the value of alpha 1 alpha 2 into the equation so we will get alpha m value is at 37.6 degree so by using the graph and also the value of mean flow angle obtained determine the efficiency of the um, compressor cascade so in the question in the question because in the question mentioned about the vari variation of cd over cl so you need to use the continuous line you need to refer to the continuous line in the graph okay which represent the data for variation of cd over cl Okay, so by referring to the alpha m to 37.6, so you need to draw a vertical line at 37.6 degree of alpha m and then find out intersection point with the uh, mu d with very vari uh, variation of cd over cl curve and then draw horizontal line per, um, intersect with efficiency exists. So for case a, we will get the compressor cascade efficiency at 90% and draw the account the horizontal line to the axis of the CD over CL ratio for case A so we'll get the value of CD for, for CD over CL equal to 0 0.046 for case B alpha 1 equal to 25 alpha 2 given equal to 30, 35 and determine mean flow angle value new uh, mean flow angle value for case B by using the same equation of tangent alpha M so we will get alpha M for case B at 30.2 degree by using the same graph and also the same line so plot uh, draw the vertical line for alpha M 30 uh, at 30.2 degree and find inter intersection point with the curve of mu d with variation of cd over cl so we will get the value of mu d equal to 89 percent and draw the horizontal line um, intersect with the cd over cl ratio uh, exists so we will get the value for cd over cl equal to 0 0.045 so 
uh, in term of to determine which case is better so you need to compare with the value of mu d so case a obtain highest value of um, compressor cascade efficiency compared to case b which mean case a is better than case b so in term of cd over cl value um, it, um, it for this case for this question it doesn't matter because the value is quite similar where case a cd over cl equal to 0 0.046 cd over cl for case b is around 0 0.045 so quite similar but for the case where the efficiency value is quite similar um, and the what I call the CD over CL value obvious uh, uh, in term of value is obviously different so we need to choose um, uh, the value of CD of CL with what I call a lower value of CD over CL value which uh, I call which refer uh, if if we have the case with lower CD over CL value so we need to choose that case as the uh, the best case because the efficiency of the cascade sorry compressor cascade is similar okay I hope you understand okay to test your understanding on this part for the first part of chapter number three please answer this question by referring to the figures provided answer the question below consider variation of CD over CL first question why Howell 1945 suggests the value of alpha M lower than 45 degree although the efficiency decrease question number two if you choose the angle of alpha M at 50 degree what are the effects is it good to choose that angle give your reasons question number three if there are two cases, one with alpha M at 44 degree and the other is alpha M at 40 degree, which angle should you choose? Give your reason. You have to answer the question by clicking the link provided in my blog. Remember that you need to know the password in order to open the link. The password was given throughout the video related to this topic. The clue is also given in the link. Okay, so this is the figure that you need to refer to okay that's all for part number one chapter number three assalamualaikum